guys, what's up? It's me, Fangbanger. In this video, I'm gonna be bringing you a brand new series I'm starting. I reset my club and I'm gonna be doing a FIFA 13 Ultimate Team Road to Shamazing. That is what I'm gonna call it. Everybody else has all these different names for it, but I'm gonna go with that. And to start out this video, I'm gonna start out with a question for the day. Um, I went through a few on Twitter and then I got an idea, not really of a question, from at Scouting for FIFA and he said, could have a question relating to the upcoming team of the season. So my question to y'all is, who do you think is gonna be um, some of the team of the seasons that come out, um, especially more so for the Prim League? And I'm gonna go ahead and answer that question who I think will be at least for the Prim League at the end of this video. I would like to see what your thoughts are in the comment down below. I decided to start out this team though. I didn't start out with absolute bronze teams. I bought De Natale with some of my coins from my old club. I went out and I bought him and then I decided to um, with all, he's the one card that I was gonna build this whole team around. This is who it's based off of, it's just him because I've never played with him. And then I'm gonna build around him. And I had coins from those packs I opened so I was able to pick up El Shirawe which was uh, not very expensive whatsoever. I don't think he was more than like a thousand or so coins. And then I got Diamante, um, who was also maybe like 750 coins. So it was easy to be able to put them up there with Di Natale. And uh, I'm running a 4-3-3 formation. I also got Siguru um, for a keeper. And then I also had some Italians that I got into the pack. So there's not full chemistry on this team. I have some Spanish players. Um, hopefully by the time I get to Division 1, I'll have gained enough coins from opening packs and then also winning um, different divisions and such things as that to where I'll be able to build an even better team around this. But that's my whole basis. I decided to start with one really good player and then start to build around that. And it ended up working out to my benefit. I'm starting to notice that everyone starts with blue kits for some reason, but I've got a blue and a black kit. I got them from different packs that I opened, and I come up against this very first team. It is a 44 chemistry, which is great for me to start out against. 442 um, has Macaulay, has Valencia, so there's some pace on there, and I thought it was going to be really difficult, and I wasn't able to score until the 40th minute, and then El Shirawe banked in a really nice shot right there on goal, and I was able to score, and I was really excited because at first I was kind of intimidated and a little bit nervous thinking that um, maybe I was gonna like lose. I didn't know how it was gonna go at the beginning. And I'm starting to find out that I guess whenever your record starts over, that you also start over with like competition that wasn't as hard as if you have like 100 wins. I guess that's part of the whole mathematical equation on how they pick who your opponent is. Um, I get my second goal though by Diamante, who I believe is just a beast. I've never used this player before, he's cheap and he's an Italian, and he is so great at heading, it is pretty much ridiculous. I also get a nice little cross right here, and it goes again to Diamante with his headers. Um, I'm definitely very glad that I picked him up. I don't even know if I'm gonna replace him. If I do, he'll probably end up being on the bench. I'm gonna make this team not only just like a team of just the starting 11, but even bench players. I wanna do like that whole thing and I'm pretty much gonna try to get to Division One and win that title. I started out in Division Five as obviously, I don't know why he quit right there. It was like the 84th minute and he decides to quit, I guess because I was beating him so badly. But we go ahead and, you know, with Get Fang Banged FC, um, we go ahead and we win the first match and we get three points for that. Check out my Ross County badge. I think it actually looks kind of cool. It's growing on me, it didn't at first. I had a little bit of extra coins though and I went ahead and I picked up Sigarini. I don't even know how to say his name, but I'm gonna say Sigarini um, because it sounds Italian and that's how I like to say Italian things because I am Italian in case you haven't noticed. My father is Italian, he's German Italian. Um, and I start out, he is one of my new center mids. I need to get more center mids because they are really bad down there at shooting and passing and their chemistry is terrible. I need to get some information. Once again, the guy wants to use his Chelsea Blues, so I have to use my black kit. And I'm going up against another lower chemistry team, 58 chemistry, but he's got Chicharito and he's got Walcott and he's got Walker, it looked like. And it, it just seems to me like he's going to be pure sweat. So I'm a little intimidated at first, even though I have an ability to take advantage of um, the left side of his defense because he's got like bronze cards. Um, from what I remember, at least I saw. And so I was like, ah, oh, might not be too bad. And I start out. Um, the game and I get a really nice shot on goal right there Which gave me a little bit of a pep in my step because I was like, okay Well, I can break past his defense Maybe I just won't give him a chance to ever go on the attack and then I won't have to worry about it Some people keep making these mistakes. I've noticed in the beginning of Division 5 They love to make those random mistakes and I'm just getting very unlucky here Somehow the keeper cannot get his 
his hands on the ball. You're going to be asking, why is she showing this entire game? I showed like bits and clips from the second game or the first game, but this one I'm showing the entire game and you're going to find out very quickly exactly why I decided to show the entire game on this. Um, but I pretty much was demolishing this kid the entire time. He couldn't stop me. No matter how pacey his guys were, I was getting uber shots on goal. It was ridiculous. And this has been happening to me as well. I think in the first game, I didn't, I don't know if I showed the stat, but I had like 35 shots on goal. And I'm not sure exactly how many were on target, but I only scored three goals. So I feel like I should have scored more. His chemistry is definitely showing to be a bad factor for him right there. Even though I have like 79 or 80 ish chemistry, um, my players still kind of play well, or maybe I'm just better at playing with them. Maybe I'm better than I thought I was, but his, they can't hold on to the ball. They can't do anything. Um, he can't even get on the attacking side of the field, and I'm just sitting here just running amok on him. Unfortunately, though, I just I can't get anything going. I got El Shawar over there, and I find a way to get into the box, and usually more times than not, I'm able to make that goal because it's just one of those OP goals. Look here again. Wide open. Wide open. What is that? Diamante. What on earth? That's like one of those fail moments when you're like, yes, I got this, but unfortunately for him... He makes the stupid mistake of trying to pass it to one of his attack or one of his defenders right there. And Diamante, fortunately for me, was able to get a really good touch on it. And then I do a little bit of a finesse shot. And this obviously frustrated him. I don't think he felt like he could come back from this, at least at this time. Team racing was not in that good of a mood. Not to mention that at any point of whenever he got the ball, I just took it away from him. I guess I was being kind of a bully. I don't know, guys, exactly what was going on here. But... In Division 5, I found out from... I was in Division 1 on my other team. In Division 5, I have found out that I feel like one of the biggest badasses ever because, for some reason, I am way more better than any of the opponents in Division 5, um, which I guess is how it's supposed to be. Um, and it's supposed to be harder as I get down to the bottom. But as we see here, this is why I showed the entire match because he decided to quit in the 16th minute, it was only 1-0. You don't quit in the 16th minute when it's 1-0. You have a, definitely an opportunity to come back. But unfortunately for him, he didn't think so. So he ends up shorting my match to where I wouldn't be able to show you all the other amazing goals I can make. And so that's going to be it for this. I'm, I figure I'm going to show you only a couple matches in this uh, series when it comes to different episodes, just so I don't make it too long. It's already like pushing like eight minutes. But anyway, um, to answer my question, who I think is going to be the team of the season for the Prem League, obviously it's probably going to be Manchester United. I wish it could be West Ham, but you know they're not the team of the season. Let me know what you guys think down below and what you think of my prediction. And until next time, get fang bang nerds.